Hey everyone, so I ran some benchmarks on the latest phones to see how they all stack up against each other. So on the far left here I have the Xperia Z5 and then the Nexus 5X, the LG G5, the iPhone SE, and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So first I ran in a 2-2 uh, benchmark and the phone that came in 5th place is the Nexus 5X. Now this isn't surprising because this phone is more of a mid-range than the other phones. Uh, it has a Snapdragon 808, which is the uh, lowest of all of them. And just 2 gigabytes of RAM. So I'll show you the details real quick. So a score of 70,374. Alright, and then the phone that came in 4th place was the Xperia Z5. Now this phone of course, like the uh, Nexus 5X came out last year. All these other phones uh, came out in 2016, so. Score of 92,635. Better than 98% of all users, and actually let me just check the stat on that for the 5X. All right, so this was better than 89% of all users. Um, and the uh, Xperia Z5 has three gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 810. So let's look at the details. All right. And then coming in third was the iPhone SE. Of course, this uses Apple's own chipsets. Uh, only has two gigabytes of RAM, but it is pretty impressive. Score of one twenty-five thousand two sixty-four. Uses the latest A9 chipset. Uh, scored better than hundred percent. I'm guessing that's only for iPhone users. So really impressive for that. All right, and then coming in second place was the Galaxy S7 Edge. So phone just came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, has a Snapdragon 820 and four gigabytes of RAM. So a score of 130,940. Score is higher than 99% of all users. Again, I'm guessing that's only for Android. And then look at the details. All right, and then of course first place, LG G5, really impressive score here. 139,629, again this has Snapdragon 820 and four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, scores higher than 99%. Let's look at the details. And then, since this one's the one that came in first, let's see how it's stacked up against the other ones in the rankings. So you see this is actually the highest, uh, and then has typical benchmarks of the other, so I guess the S7 Edge at this one was a little bit of a lower score. On here it's 134, the one I did was 130. Uh, the iPhone 6S, which is very similar to the 6, or rather very similar to the SE, at 133k so yeah we're definitely seeing a big difference between the Snapdragon 810 uh, and the Snapdragon 820 so once we get the uh, Snapdragon 820 Xperia X performance you should be expecting better results probably closer to the uh, LG G5 and the S7 Edge although it does just have 3 of its RAM instead of 4 all right guys, so now we're gonna try doing a restart test, see how long it takes for the phone to restart. So I'm just gonna do the, uh, the Z5, the S7 Edge, and the uh, LG G5. Uh, and I'm gonna try pressing this all at the same time. So all these are running the latest versions of Marshmallow. All right, it's gonna be kinda hard. Let's see if I can press all three at the same time. Oops.
Bear with me one second. Alright, All right, so one, two, three. Oop. Alright, messed up with the messed up with the Z5 there, but I will try it again in a second. All right, I'll just have the Z5 go up against the winner of these two. Oh wow, that was really close. All right, so let's try it one more time. They're actually almost identical, I think. All right, try this again. So one, All right, let's try this again. One, two. All right, that's <laughs> awful, but we already know these are basically the same. Uh, let's just see what the, how the Z5 stacks up. Sorry guys for the laziness. I just don't feel like editing the video right now since it's Sunday night. So we're gonna try doing this all in one take. All right, so the LG G5 was a little faster, but that's just because I uh, reset it. I pressed the button a little faster than the S7 Edge. But as you can see, uh, the Z5 is definitely slower booting up. I think that since the Marshmallow update, it's uh, actually taken longer to load up. So let's see exactly how long it takes compared to the other two. And for these two phones, they actually don't have a restart option. Uh, you can just power it off and have to power it back on. All right, so there you go. Um, definitely slower than the other two. Uh, again, I expect the X performance to be more in line with these. Definitely should be getting over 100K in the uh, Antutu benchmarks. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section what videos you want to see if you have any requests. Uh, and thanks again for watching.